this sandals vlog is way overdue but we spent two nights on a press trip and i just wanted to show y'all how beautiful this resort is our room wasn't quite ready yet so the staff actually let us go and get something to eat and tour the resort and get some drinks while they were getting our room ready this resort is really nice as soon as we walked in like literally stunned stunned So we explored and come to find out they have these really cute food trucks in the middle of the resort. One of them serves Bahamian food, like actual kunk salad, kunk fritters, kunk dishes, and stuff like that. The other one is like a breakfast kind of truck or a sweets truck, if you will. And then we just walked around, we got some drinks, checked out the little boardwalk situation. There's a restaurant at the end of the boardwalk. We didn't get to go to that one but it was really really beautiful like it, this resort in person is just gorgeous So finally our room was ready and it didn't really feel like it took that long to be honest. Um, we followed one of the concierge people to this little kind of secluded area towards the back of the resort. And one thing about it is you can tell that the this part of the resort is close to the street because we could hear a little bit of traffic going back and forth. But in my opinion, it wasn't that bad and it kept pretty quiet for the most part. We were staying in a one bedroom, one bedroom suite with a soaking tub, a little garden area. They even had a fully stocked um, bar as well as this really huge bathroom. The only thing I didn't like about the bathroom was the fact that the shower door did like you couldn't open and close it. You just stepped in and yeah, that was the only thing I didn't really like about it. But the bar itself was fully stocked we even um, had snacks ready for us and they had all the information about like what to book like how to book the restaurants and booking uh, spa services and everything like that so it was pretty straightforward informative the bed was very very comfortable and <laughs> yeah for the most part this was our room we really really liked it a lot So after we got settled in, we quickly threw on some swimsuits and went straight to the beach that's right by the boardwalk and took advantage of the beach bar a few times before we got ready for dinner. Then we went to the Hume restaurant, which is the French cuisine restaurant on Sandals Royal Bahamian Resort and the decor in here was just beautiful. I had the onion soup and the lamb and the lamb was, was okay. I would give it like a seven to eight out of 10. The onion soup, I definitely could eat that again for sure. I think we were so full that we did not get dessert. So yeah, and then we called it a night and sat out by the fire pits So the next morning we got up, got ready, got some breakfast from the Sweets and Tings truck. And we had like the Caribbean coffee and like a crepe. It was really good. Then we had to go check in for our couple's massage at Red Lane Spa. If you ever go for the spa services at Sandals Royal Bay, you have to 
really, really prioritize getting an appointment as soon as you check in because apparently they go really, really quickly. This does come at a cost, but we did not pay for it because this was a press trip. This massage, however, was probably one of the top two moments of our stay because all I remember is laying down and then waking back up because that's how good it was. So after the couple's massage, we literally rushed back to our room <laughs> because we had a little bit of a packed day and got ready to go to the private island or private key that is like a five minute boat ride away from the main resort. There's like a little ferry schedule on the boardwalk that you can check to see what time they leave, what time they come back. And we were just going over there to check it out and relax. But like these views were everything. It was such nice we weather those two nights that we stayed. If you want to stay all day, on the private island, you should definitely go early because I think we only had about like maybe a few hours to kind of just eat, chill and relax. There's a restaurant on the island as well as pools, lounge area, bar, and like they have a jacuzzi as well. You can go sit out on the beach. You can even go snorkeling. They have some activities on this particular island. It was pretty cool. I started out with just going out into the water and just literally just walking around before we got something to eat, but the water was very clear. We have only spent two nights here. We then got a massage, massage. We went to La Plume last night. There's also a restaurant that stays open until like 2 a.m. If people get hungry later on, they have a little dance hall like a disco dance floor type of thing going on with DJs and everything. They have um, a villa, a villa Oh, they have a villa room table. with games, uh, touch screen games, uh, pool tables, chess boards. I don't know what's on the other side. They, on the other side is like a, like a bar. A bar. Like a, a, a lot of bars. Of bar. Yeah. But I ain't lie, one takeaway is you definitely have to stay here more than two nights to get a taste of everything because it's a lot. We had lunch and I had the chicken and fries and he had like this salmon risotto thing. It was pretty good. Then we just decided to chill. They had hammocks and places you could lay out like little cabanas on the sand and it was very cool. Then we headed back and they had this Junkanoo parade on the resort, which is basically, Junkanoo is indigenous to the Bahamas and it's like a cultural display of costumes, music, dancing. It's just something you definitely want to check out if you ever come to Nassau, Bahamas. <laughs> Then we got ready to go to Butch's Island Chop House, which is more like a Mediterranean restaurant, I believe. We had the crispy goat cheese salad and also the steak Diane and the chef's surf and turf, but the dessert was like my favorite part with the chocolate sin pie. And um, we had a lot of French 75s as well. After dinner, we went to the little dance party that's 
by like the food trucks and the sand. They have like this little area where they do performances, play music, people dance. There's a bar open and it was good vibes. I was trying to learn the footloose dance. <laughs> Next morning we had to check out, but we grabbed breakfast from Canoe. And it was just pretty much co continental breakfast. And then we went back to the room. I got to sit in the little soaking tub for a little bit before we had to check out. And then the front desk called and <laughs> we had to go. And what I really like about Sandals is they actually organize your ride to and from the airport. And I thought that was really special because you don't really have to worry about, you know, a cab or a taxi or anything, it's included. And that's it. If you guys have any questions about my our stay at Sandals Royal Bahamian, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye.